Hi there, in this tutorial I want to show you several techniques that you can use to create uh, the vignette effect on your, on your image. So the first technique that I will show you is using the lens correction filter. So the first thing I'll do is unlock this background layer, pressing the alt, pressing the alt key and double clicking on the layer. And since I want to be able to edit this filter, I'll uh, create this, I'll convert this into a smart object. Not all Photoshop versions allow you to uh, use smart objects, but this is not necessary. It's just a preference of mine because I want to be able to edit the filter later on. So go to filter, lens correction, and wait for the filter to load. Depending on what versions of uh, what version of Photoshop you have, uh, maybe this menu is different. But I'm using Photoshop CS5, and I have to check this custom. Um, this custom tab. Make sure you don't apply any um, any lens correction uh, settings here, any uh, preset from here. Just go to the custom and here have the vignette uh, menu. You can drag this to the left and you can add vignette. You can add more darkness here on the on the edges. You can also choose the midpoint. So this is probably the easiest way of creating a vignette effect because you also have the midpoint so you can choose the gradient, uh, the smoothness of the gradient, or whatever you want to call this. Well, after you're done with that, click OK. You can also add uh, positive values if you have, if you want to remove the vignette effect. So you can see that now the corners become brighter. But I want to add uh, darkness on the corners, so I'll use negative values. And once you're done, click OK, and wait for the filter to apply. And there you have the vignette and let me show before and after, before and after and I'll remove this filter and I'll rasterize the layer, the layer because I no longer need the smart object. Another way of uh, creating the vignette effect is using the marquee tool. I'll create the vignette effect on a new layer, select the rectangular marquee tool and just increase the feather here. The amount of feather depends on how much uh, effect you want to add and also on the size of your image. I'll use about let's see 100 pixels maybe it's too much I'll see and just select the entire canvas like that and you can see that the selection is rounded and 100 pixels is way too um, too little for this image so what I will do is um, maybe use uh, 300 pixels let's well I have as you can see, the maximum amount of feather you can have is 250 pixels. So if your image is, is really big, uh, maybe this, this technique is not um, is not good for, for your image. Let me, let's see. So once you make the selection, you will see that the selection is rounded. So what you have to do is inverse the selection, press Control, Shift and I. And with the selection inverted, make sure the foreground color is set to black and press Alt and Backspace to fill the selection and you add the vignette effect there. But as you can see that you're limited to 250 pixels and you have to work with selections, invert the selections. For me it's really quick because I use, uh, I'm use i used to using the keyboard shortcuts and I can do this uh, really quick but well, uh, this technique can also work uh, depending on your image size. Another technique that you can use is using a layer mask and so I'll create a new layer, fill it with black and create a layer mask for it and get the brush tool and use a really big soft brush again you're limited to the size of the brush so if you have a 4000 pixels uh, image maybe it's not gonna work that well that's why I said the filter uh, the filter option is the best one and the easiest one so create the layer mask set the foreground color to black and just uh, paint use a soft brush and paint a dot in the middle of it and now you can press with the layer mask, mask selected you can press Control T to load the free transform and you can make this bigger and of course you can change the shape you can make it wider uh, you can squeeze it like that uh, and you can make it bigger and just uh, play with this however you want depending on what where you want to have that um, spot of light 
Maybe you can also play with blend modes. Let's try multiply or soft light. So there you have it, uh, three techniques of creating uh, vignette effects. If you know more techniques, just uh, post the comments and show me your, your method. And well, thanks for watching and see you next time.